How to become a helicopter pilot. Becoming a civilian helicopter pilot in the United States is an expensive goal, but an achievable one. Everyone who wants to fly and is not receiving military training must earn a private helicopter license. If you would like to become a professional helicopter pilot, you will then go on to earn a commercial license. After that you will focus on logging hours in the air. The more you have, the more qualified you'll be. Getting qualified. Turn 16. You need to be at least 16 years old to obtain a private helicopter license. You need a private helicopter license before you can get a commercial helicopter license. Once you have your private helicopter license, you'll need to be at least 17 to obtain your commercial helicopter license. wh.performance.mark Step 1 underscore rendered. Visit the doctor. All pilots have to pass a medical exam provided by an FAA-approved physician. You can be disqualified if you have any health problems that might imply the risk of lapses in consciousness. These could include heart problems, psychological disorders, or a history of drug abuse. Your hearing and vision will also be checked, as well as your ability to perceive color. Students with poor color vision may be prevented from becoming pilots. Pilots need to distinguish colors in order to understand light signals when operating a helicopter. If you think you may have poor color vision, ask your optometrist to administer a test before you begin pursuing a career as a pilot. If you are worried about being disqualified for any of these conditions, talk to an FAA-approved medical examiner about your concerns. Find an FAA-approved medical examiner on the FAA website. Study up. You do not need to graduate from college to fly a helicopter, but having a degree can make it a lot easier to find a job. Most employers require you to have at least an associate's degree, and prefer a bachelor's. If you know you want to fly helicopters for a living, consider going to college for math, physics, or aeronautical engineering. Helicopter pilots need to know algebra, geometry, trigonometry, and calculus. There will be math questions on the test, and you will need especially good math skills to fly commercially. You can take math classes at your flight school or aeronautical college. You can also study with books and study guides, look for guides written specifically for pilots. Save or take out a loan. Getting civilian training is expensive. Flight schools will require you to provide some proof of funds before you are admitted. You can expect to pay $10,000 to $15,000 for the training it will take to pass the helicopter pilot certification exams, plus $18,000 minus $20,000 for commercial certification. Flight time with an instructor costs approximately $200 an hour. For time flying solo, you might pay around $160. If you choose to take out a loan, you might want to look into a career training loan. If you are already a pilot with a fixed wing license, you can apply for a rotorcraft add-on license, and you will not be required to fly as many hours to qualify for it. There are few scholarships available for students of rotorcraft. There is a nonprofit called Whirly Girls that provides women who have already gotten their private pilot certification with scholarships to help them achieve a commercial private pilot certification, too. Pick the flight school that's right for you. You can find flight schools listed at the FAA website. Before you choose, ask yourself where you want to be employed as a helicopter pilot in the future. If you want to fly in a mountainous area, you will get more practice if you go to a flight school in a mountainous area. Opt for schools that can boast of a high graduation rate and good job placement for graduates. To be admitted, you will need to have passed your medical examination. You will also need proof of funds and a high school degree or equivalent. Prospective rotorcraft students whose first language is not English must pass the TOEFL exam. Consider attending a college or a university that offers an aviation program. That way, you can get your associate's or bachelor's degree at the same time that you obtain your helicopter licenses. <laughs>